here by research centers established back in the 80s. Now the University of Texas hopes to foster a biotechnology boom in Austin. And KXAN's Dan Robertson has this story. And try to solve problems that will have impact throughout the world. And Dr. Nicholas Pepis has already done that. In 30 years of research at MIT and Purdue University, his work has produced materials specifically designed for use in the body, like these artificial arteries and this replacement vocal cord. And it has the same characteristics. It pulsates the same way uh, as as a vocal cord. He's recognized as one of the world's leading bioengineering authorities. Now he's come to the University of Texas to take his work to the next level. Molecular recognition systems, that is, uh, systems that is, are so smart that they can actually recognize biological compounds and effectively eliminate them from the body. It sounds like science fiction. It's reality. It's reality. We can do things like that. In the lab, his team is working with semiconductor materials to fight disease. That each square would recognize one particular biological compound, eventually grab it, treat it, break it down, or simply convert it to something else. Dr. Pepis thinks his work could spur a new boom in biotech. Austin has had a tremendous reputation for its ability to attract semiconductor companies. We can do the same thing with bioengineering. On the UT campus, Dan Robertson, KXAN News 36. Welcome to Austin. And by the way, UT's year-old biomedical engineering department already ranks in the top 20. And Dr. Pepis is working to establish research partnerships with leading Texas hospitals like the MD Anderson Cancer Center in Houston. Yeah, I'm sure he'll love the Austin weather. It sure is nice today, isn't yeah. it? And tonight